the sweet tooth, huh, sir? Hmm? Well, I suppose I do eat sweets every so often. I see. So, haha, -ha, you seem to enjoy them even more than our other customers. Do I? Yes. Very so much so. By the way, I'm Sue Meyer, and your name is, sir? Sa Saito. Saito-san. How nice. Well, I sure hope to see you here again. I formed bonds with everyone, apparently. Who's the fucking, uh, blacksmith is my next thing. Oh, yeah, right there. Okay. I bought all that shit from the gun store so I could fucking take shit to the blacksmith and... Again. Oh, looks like Yai is on the job again. I understand. I'll take care of it. You just go home and try to get some rest. Yai san, please. Please find my sister. Yep. Hey, something wrong? Hey, Saito san. Yeah, that girl's sister got played by the assholes we've been dealing with. Now she's apparently missing. You weren't kidding when you said this is happening a lot. No shit, and they're not even being subtle about it anymore. They must think I'm pretty stupid. Do you have a plan yet? Well, I know where they end up, at least. Remember that Karuda piss stain at the gambling den? Yeah, I tailed them later. I found out the loan sharks take all the suckers to his mansion. They're being held hostage for now. So he's the one running the scheme? What are you going to do about it? I'm going to I'm gonna go spring those poor bastards before it's too late. Hopefully I can talk to at least one of them into reporting this to the authorities. Once Karuda's shit is out in the open, we can chase the whole racket out of town. There's just one problem with getting into the mansion. What's that? They've got a guard in the premises who's a real tough customer. In all honesty, I may not get out of this one alive. Why do this, then? It sounds too dangerous. Ha! Did you hit your head or something? You know me. There's nothing I hate more than scumbags preying on people's desperation. Can't right. Not sure I forgot. You know, I owe everything to the people of Keo. I used to be in bad in a bad way with a shit job, but these people showed me kindness. I may get bossy with some of my clients, but in the truth, I do it because I feel like I owe them for making me who I am today. I'm not stupid. I know I can't play the hero for everybody, but I still want to do what I can to help. Right now, that means rescuing those people crew that had kidnapped. Sounds like you, to me like you need some serious backup. Well, this isn't the usual work, so I'm not, gonna, I'm not going to have the same kind of payment lined up for you. You sure you want to do this? You can just owe me one. Now I think you're just doing that purpose, but thanks, sayoto san Since I have no clue how this will go down, I'll just pay you in full now. Use some of them that to get ready if you need to. Damn. Are you sure? What if I take off with your money? Then I would track you down to the end of the goddamn earth. You hit me up again when you're ready to head out. I'm ready to go now. Let's kill some motherfuckers. Yeah, I'm ready. Then let's work on our plan of attack. Once that's done, we can go beast mode. I don't think they said beast mode in 1867, by the way. I could be wrong, but... Hold it. State your business. God, you're Miss Tatsu. And you've gone from loan shock to doorsman for a kidnapper, huh? Sure must suck the sock. Oh, fuck you. I'm stuck out here choking down cold rice because of you. You're not getting through here in a million years. Well, I have much more important things to do than argue with talking pieces of shit, so I'm just going to beat your ass and head on in, okay? I'm sick of your uppity fucking attitude. Get out of here, boys. Get out here, boys. We've got company. Yeah, the... the Let's rage, uh, let's rage, see I san Right. Yeah, the, the, it's that idea of, uh, something like Robin Hood. I mean, Robin Hood, like. Robin Hood is the, that ultimate outlaw, you know?
I want an attack bear in real life, man. How do I get an attack bear in real life? Humans are weird in general, man. Like, like poor people who, who encourage rich people to be scumbags because they think that someday they'll be scum, they'll be rich too. Like, the whole fucking like Trump, like voting base voted for him because they thought he would they could get rich like him someday, or a lot of his voting base at least. Humans are weird, man. In general. Okay, that's the hard part done. Now let's hurry and find the hostages. We better make this quick. Ah, huh. uh, if as it Miss Tatsu, or should I say Yamamoto Yai, so you were the one raising hell out there. How dare you intrude on my estate? Well, if it is in the top shit himself, I remember you from a gambling den. And I definitely remember you, considering your winning streak. You took home quite a bit of the, our money. You mean I took home my own money? You came for my clients, I came for your cash. So, what can I do for you this late an hour? I probably should have mentioned I'm coming for my clients, too. I know you're holding them hostage here. It seems you know nothing about my business. I merely provide financial opportunities that these people entered of their own free will. I'm about to pound that business talk right out of you. You prey on people and force them into slavery, and I'm taking them with me now. Untrained bitches sure do bark a lot. Fortunate that I hire people who are very good at training. Do your best with her, Sensei. Here we go. Better brace yourself. You don't gotta tell me, Saito-san. Why did it change my weapon? Yep, nine. And well, I mean, there's so many people who just take advantage of that. I mean, it's like snake oil sa salesmen, like to the 20th degree, you know. She's just been fighting this asshole in the corner.
Have fun, Zoe. I know it's sarcasm, but I love you. I'll take care of this. You go find the hostage hostages. Yep. Well, I, I've been talking about this a lot lately, Nine. So the real problem is, and this is my like my opinion or like my idea. I'm not I don't know. It's like kind of that thing that I've gathered in my mind. So the people now that are up on top, like have all the money that have really created this financial situation we're in as a country, they were all fucking raised by parents who came out of the Great Depression, who uh, taught them that fuck everyone else. The only person you should care about is you because that's what they had to do during the Great Depression. The, during the Great Depression, they were like, you know, fucking doing whatever it took to survive. And they fucking transitioned that into these motherfuckers who do anything they can to hoard because that's what their parents taught them. And then never taught them to be good and caring and, you know, like care about other people. Now it's just fuck everyone else. It's, it's all about me. All right. Good luck with these dicks. You meddling asshole. You think you get away with this? I know all about this racket you're running. I suggest you turn yourself in. Ha ha ha. Turn myself in. Take a look around. If we're talking crimes, you're the one trespassing here. If a docent hears of a com uh, commotion and comes calling, both you and that bitch are getting hauled off to jail. Ah, and here he is now. Hope you enjoy being locked up. Stop in the name of love. What's going on here? Can't you see? I'm dealing with a burglary here. Hurry up and arrest them. We're only here to free the hostages he's holding on his property. He's the real criminal. What? What? Is that true? Of course not. He's just trying to avoid arrest. Now, do your job. You don't have to take my word for it. Just listen to what these people have to say. What? It's true. We were all scammed and kidnapped. They were about to sell me to a brothel. I swear it's true. They talked about it right in front of me. I was also scammed. They tricked me into signing a contract with an impossible interest rate. They told me they were going to make me work in the coal mines and take all my pay. I just need money for my father's medicine. Next thing I knew, I was overwhelmed with debt and getting dragged here by his men. What the? How the? How did you all get out? I'd say you've heard enough that you can you can't rule out the possibility. Indeed, this is. Wait, wait. None of this is evidence. Just baseless accusations. You're not doing anything here without real proof. Hold it right there. Uh, what I meant to say before was, I'm guessing that's our proof. Not just the illegal contracts, either forged seals, underhanded schemes with doctors, logs for human trafficking, de trafficking deals, real dipshit moves sitting all this, uh, sitting on all this evidence. So, Karada, are you really as stupid as you look, or you finally figured out that you're screwed? Yeah, individualism has gotten to the point where I think it's... They talk about it really good if you've never watched the Orville, how if you don't... If individualism doesn't, like, over, like, come... Isn't overcome by, like, like the, the better of society, like, the group as a whole, then, like, you just fall apart as a fucking species so you're really leaving kyo my mind is already made up i see what's the next step for starters some studying in ito oh going to school you saw karuda's papal trial he had victims even outside the city no matter how much i do for kyo's miss tatsu the debt collector there will be people who need me after thinking about it i realized that maybe all those desperate people would have stronger odds if they had better educations. Now, I want to build a place where anyone can learn as much as they want. To hell with that educated elite shit. Yeah. And you know me. Once I get an idea, it's like fires lit under my ass. Well, that's definitely a big decision. Yeah, I'm not really sure on the hows, but that's why I'm going to Edo. I figure a few years of schooling there and I'll have it worked out. I'll be rooting you from the here then. Well, time to head out. 
Yeah, all that stuff, man. Saito-san, sorry to leave without paying you for the last job yet. Yeah, don't forget. You owe me. And you bet your ass I'll pay you back someday. Didn't you give me three whatever monies? She gave me three dollars. She gave me three dollars. When someone like her puts their mind to something, I'll bet Yay makes her dream a reality one day. All the virtue. We got a fucking blacksmith shit, man. I don't think, like... So do that. Okay, well, I want to do my sword, upgrade my sword, like. That's why I love TV, like the Orville. Toasty, have you ever watched or the Orville? Because I think you would love it. It's real good. Lead chunk. We don't have any lead chunk. Uh, lead chunk. I wonder if they s I could get one from this guy. We do. Man, there's only three seasons of uh, the Orville, and I fucking loved most of it. So, which makes me sad.
Mag, what's up, buddy? Man, getting these fucking swords up. Out of it tonight, and I don't know why, but fuck, man. I wish I wasn't so fucking tired. So we gotta fucking pull this one out. That is a big difference in attack. How's your day going, Mag? You beautiful boy. We gotta go get that little kid as uh his uh vegetables. Dude, I'm t I feel the a long day, man. I'm fucking tired. I got like head halfway through my day, and I'm like, I got real tired all of a sudden. Can I hit this dude? That's an insane amount of meetings. Are you in like mag like fighting over like competing over who could go to have more meetings? Cause that's what it seems like. Dude, I I don't go to many meetings anymore, thank God. Thank God. Where's this little bastard to give him his vegetables? Here you little brat. Meetings are the fucking, like, meetings are just, like, the most, like, w justify our existence thing of all time for managers, man. That didn't sound bad or anything. Thanks a bunch, mister. Was it good? Yeah, so good. I want to keep eating, but I've got to eat at home, too, so I should stop now. <laughs> Smart move. Thanks again, mister. Toasty happy. I gave the little kid his vegetables.
Man, nothing will put me to sleep faster than a fucking meeting. Fucking insane, man. Fucking insane. Just managers fucking justifying their exist. Uh, there you are, Saito Kun. Good timing. I need you. For what? The loyalist base that we've been looking for, the inspectors narrowed it down to two possibilities Ikidaya and Shiko Ikuya. They're both ends. The meeting will take place in one of them. Eyes on both. We're going to assemble our men into two separate units. You and the third division will be coming with me. Right. As I said, it'll be one of the two. Ikira, uh, Ikideya or Shiko Kuya. What do you think we should take? Shiko Shikoku. Good then. In that case, Saito Kun, you and I will handle Shiku Shiko Kuya tonight. And that puts me at Ikadeya. Matt, one eight better. One eight no better than the other. Either would be fine. Is that all you wanted me for? No. Yes. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Fuck. Should probably go do some more missions with the stupid, uh... Go do some missions. Missions are the worst. No, I'm just kidding. I've been in the corporate world for like 15 years, almost 16 years. I just go, I go, it's amazing like how much of that, th that world is people doing nothing and making themselves out to be the, like uh, the all stars of things. It's actually way more of it than I ever thought before going to the real world. I say it all the time. They, we, we make decisions in my like in my company that like, and you go, why did they do this? Like they just did something similar a couple of years ago, and it's always, always, always because some vice president or president, someone high up the chain, wanted to make themselves look better, so they do unnecessary changes that cost the company millions of dollars, if not, I mean, who really knows how much they cost it? But like, and just to make themselves look better. And it's the fucking most batshit crazy shit ever.
Like, we did a, a like this fucking printer. Like, we have these this printer software that like we updated three or four years ago. And last year they decided to update it again. And I'm like, why did they do that? Because someone tried to make themselves look better. I had a fucking year end review, as fucking always, man. They justify it to their other bullshit people who are doing the same fucking thing. Bunch of people justifying why they get paid insane amounts of money while contributing actually nothing to the fucking company. But making ten times what anyone, like, down on my level makes. Yep. Shit like that, man. I mean, that's a good goal to have. Dude, back before my ADHD diagnosis, man, I could not pay attention to meetings at all. Luckily, I was so far down the totem pole, it didn't matter, but man, it was real brutal back then. Okay, Zoe, I'll check it out. Hey, let me check, look in here a second. I'll look at my phone in a second. When Zoe warns me it's not safe for work, I... Zoe, I love it. I was just actually talk, talking about this subject with someone today. Uh, okay. I missed this one. Okay. 
We should be able to finish this. I'm just trying to level up my troopers a little bit. I'm on fire! This samurai's on fire! God damn it. My shitty sense of direction, man. Find that song I was talking about here. Let me see if I could find it real quick. Uh... Okay, here. Let me look to find the song. I'm gonna share it to you in chat. I'm not listening to it, obviously, but. Called. It's called. Okay. Obviously. Okay. So, if anyone's interested, listen to that song and tell me that the fucking vocals aren't way below the level of the music. It's very odd, man. Also, the band's in a little bit of, like, people are giving them shit because that the art on that album is AI generated because they fucking, they paid someone to do it and they didn't like what they did, so they AI generated the art.
Man, this fucking cave is fucking deep, man. That's what she said. Pirate. Yeah, I don't know if I know anything about what you're talking about. But you get what I'm hearing with that nine and the, the vocals being less loud than the music. Someone was giving me shit about calling it out too. I'm like, I'm not saying there's shit. It's just the fucking the mixing is not good. I don't get it. I kind of dig that song in general. It's just a fucking mix suck. So I wonder like what this ends up doing for you long run. Yeah, I thought I leveled up. That's like a lot of the EDM stuff I like when when they do stuff like that it just throws me off or like they have some weird noise that just like is like fucks with what you're listening to you know like because a lot of EDM artists will just use really odd noises you know. What's up, OJ? How you doing, friend? 
It's a weird, like, they add it, like, when you get into this fucking, like, this, this group, you start having these cards because they're, like, they're troopers. Did I eat that guy off a fucking cliff? Yeah. That stuff drives me crazy, man. Like when I when we went to Res Rocks last year, there was this like really good DJ that opened up for her. That like she had like five people open up for her. It was a lot of good stuff, but like one of them had just these songs that would just like do these random like no, like noises that just like that drove me nuts. And I generally liked what he was doing too. Besides that. Cocaine bear! Cocaine bear! Also, I don't get how these, like, it feels like these attacks just auto go off when the meter fills up. I got soft lumber, giggity. Um, I'm just I'm clearing up these uh, dungeon, these like uh, caves of of uh, of bandits. Kind of lava. Kind of. Okay, dude. That wasn't odd or random. Uh, can I go anywhere and like? I I can't like leave to improve because I was wondering about improving my farmhouse and shit. Can you do that over here? You're so crazy. I haven't played Neo well enough. Like I got through like the first level or two for the f for the first Neo, and then. Oh. Yo, I heard you're on the Shiko Kuya team. I'll be at Ika Dea with Okita and the others. We're going up against 40 loyalist Shishi, all fighting for their lives. Steal yourself. I own Neo 1 and 2 on Steam, but Saito-kun. 
What is it now? Hey, don't be so tense. The deputy chief wants to talk. He wants you. Meet him in the warehouse. Haiji Kata is waiting for me at the warehouse. That's towards the back of the barracks. If I talk to him and then wrap up for the night. Get back to the uh oh, it's over here. How do I get over there. So I have to go around, I guess. I don't know. Sorry, dude. Sweet potato. Okay. Kochida. Over Saito here, Saito kun. Koitsuwa. Who is he? You can't guess? Our new pal. Furutuka Shuntaro. He's a right. Hajime chan, you have to you have a go. Uh, please, no more. Indulge me once again, Furutaka. Tell Saito-kun what you've been telling us. Uh, the number of people involved, there are at least 40. The most dangerous ones are Yoshida Toshimaru and the man from Choshu, Katsura Kogoro. Yoshido, I don't know. Katsuro's a Shindo moon in master, supposedly. Good sword arm and sweetie. Matter of fact, he's so fast he's famous. Got a funny name. Slippery Kogoro. Over in Choshu, they consider him a genius. It's like the, he's the real mastermind behind this plan. Ideally, we'll take him alive, but do not allow him to escape. Yeah, understood. Also, Katsura and Yoshida, both, they are only to be engaged by the captain standing in this room. It would be a waste of bodies to send the infantry. You ain't gonna tell me twice. Now, oh, come on. We doing this yet? I'm feeling antsy. Like, my body knows it's almost kill time. Yeah, let's move. Hajita Kuhan, sun's going down. We're ready. However, er, if the Shensugumi mobilizes in masses, it would give us away. Let's remain covert. Exit the barracks one at a time. Head directly to your destination. Stand by, all right? Oh. Can I save?